on today's video, we're going to look at how you guys judged yesterday's Ultimate Dog Championship contest between the Tosa Inu and the Giant Schnauzer, and we'll see if you guys agreed with me, if you disagreed with me, or if we were absolutely miles apart on determining which dog is the better guard dog for first-time owners. Welcome back to the K9 Show. My name's Will. I'm a behaviorist, and on this channel, I make videos just like this one to better educate people all about these amazing dog breeds. So, if you are currently watching live, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And if you're watching on the replay, I appreciate it as well. If you're new here, don't forget to click that subscribe button before we jump in. But every time we do one of our Ultimate Dog Championship tournaments, the day after we do a live stream where we can compare how you guys judge the contest compared to how I did. If you're not sure how you guys judge the contest, whenever you're watching one of the uh, contest videos, all you you have to do is you'll see when i'm judging a little card will pop up on the top right of your screen all you do is you tap or click that depending on what you're watching the video on and you'll be able to cast your vote and then on this video we can see so without further ado we're going to jump straight into my screen let me just check youtube says we're live and that we're all good and gravy so that's happy days so let's jump straight into my screen and we can look and we'll go straight into round one now round one was temperament and if you remember i chose the giant schnauzer like always i've not looked at the results yet so i genuinely this is going to be a surprise so all we do is like i say whenever you see me judging this little eye icon will turn into a box out here like that all you need to do when you're watching the video is tap on that and you guys can vote as well and then when i click on poll results it tells me uh, whoa so which dog has the better temperament by an absolute mile? And this is definitely the uh, biggest landslide victory we've ever had. The Giant Schnauzer takes the win. 96% of you agree that the Giant Schnauzer has the uh, the better temperament and just 3% of you think the Tosarino does. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not, gonna, I'm not really surprised. The Giant Schnauzer, I'm going to just does have the better temperament. Um, and obviously you guys agree so there's not really much point in spending too much time here so we'll jump into round two which for me was a little bit more interesting now round two was intimidation and i gave the round to the tosa inu um but i, I do f personally i've always said like breeds like the belgian malinois and the doberman and like the giant schnauzer because of that more athletic lean ready to go alert i personally find them breeds more intimidating than i do the big bulky massive mastiff breeds but that's because i personally have had mastiff breeds and I love them so much. I think I'm a bit desensitized to the sheer bulk. So I have to kind of take my bias out of it and go with what I think the general public think is more intimidating. So I went with the Tosarino, but we'll have a look at how you guys judged it and we'll see. So which do you think is more intimidating? Poll results. And there we go. Again, massive. I'm not going to lie. It's always quite nice when you guys overwhelmingly agree with me but yeah the Tosa Renu 91% of you thought it was more intimidating with just 8% of you voting on the giant schnauzer which like I say that that was one of the rounds I was I was very excited to um to see what you guys thought so like I say personally I probably would have been in that 8% if I'm being brutally honest because I just find that that dark menacing athletic look personally gives me that little twitch a little bit more than a mastiff breed does I don't know why like I say maybe I'm just I'm one of the weird 8% people, but there we go. Overwhelmingly, you guys did agree that the Tosarino is the more intimidating. So a two from two, which is always nice. So we'll jump into round three, which is the natural guard dog skills. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean which one makes the best guard dog, because a lot comes into that, especially things like intelligence and trainability and different drives. Um, now, we're talking about, because this is a guard dog for first-time owners, first-time owners aren't necessarily going to be putting their dogs through extensive ipo or guarding or protection work they might just want a family guardian that's a lovely easy to train easy to have nice companion animal that if anything happened or them and their family was put in any danger their dog would kick in and would provide those natural guarding skills instinctively so i again personally went with the tosa both dogs do have good guarding skills or guarding instincts but when we're talking about the skills which one would get the job done better without any training for me i went with the tosa so let's see how you guys judged it which do you think has the better is the better natural guardian poll results whoa okay here we are now this one yeah so 51 percent of you went tosa inu 48 percent of you went giant schnauzer now that is very interesting to me um absolutely fascinating actually i thought to be honest i thought intimidation would be closer and this one would be more widely accepted now like i say don't get me wrong 
I completely am aware how amazing the giant schnauzer is. If I was having a, if I wanted to bring a new guard dog into my home, I would be more inclined to be looking at working some IPO, some um, more, not high level protection works. It wouldn't necessarily need it for my personal situation, but I would definitely have some good solid um, protection training done, formal protection training. Now, if I was doing that, I would personally go with a giant schnauzer over the Tosarino, even though the Tosarino is banned here. If I did have the choice, it would be the giant schnauzer all day for me. But I was talking about natural skills. Take training out of the equation. Like I say, focus on a first-time owner, just focusing on getting that the basics of obedience, socialization, and manners right, and then have a dog that would be naturally guarding. I personally thought the Tosarino would probably take the win easier than that, but 51% of you, I think that's the closest we've ever had, you know, that's that's right up there, we're very close. So we are three from three, barely, you barely agreed, 1% in it, that's fascinating, genuinely, I'm absolutely fascinated by that, I did not think, and no, like I say, I'm a big fan of giant schnauzers, don't take that, that I don't believe in their garden skills, I love them, but um, I didn't think people believed in them to that extent maybe that means i need to do a bit more research into schnauzers or go and find some people that are working them and spend a bit more time with that because that is um that's fascinating to me i'm really that's cool really good but yeah let's move into round four round four is an easier one health and life expectancy fairly um objective there's not much subjective decision making to be had in here uh, i went with the giant schnauzer let's see how you guys judged it let's have a quick look Again, yeah, 81% Giant Schnauzer, 18% Tosarino. So fairly conclusive there. We definitely won't spend too much time. I do remember that the the lifespan was very similar, but Mastiff breeds do tend to have much more in terms of health issues than most other breeds in general. And on top of that, the Giant Schnauzer is a super healthy breed in itself. So they were bred to be very robust. All those German dogs tend to have that. Your Rotties, your Dobermans, your Schnauzers. Um, good bloodlines, good, robust, healthy dogs. Um, they know what they're doing over there, to be honest. The German Shepherds as well. It's more recently that the hip thing's become an issue with how they've been bred since they've come away from Germany. But, um, yeah, those Europeans know how to do it. Not like those English here ruining the bulldogs and making them super unhealthy. Uh, those guys know what they're doing. But anyway, let's go straight into round. So we're four from four. We're doing well. You guys have agreed with me four rounds out of four. Let's go straight into round five, which is trainability. Now, we're talking about easiest to train here. Remember, a lot of you guys are watching are experienced. I, I email you all the time. Like I say, if you ever want to email me, by the way, the comments aren't disabled by me. That's a YouTube situation. If you want to chat with me, there's an email address down in the description box below. So you guys can email me any questions, queries, comments, anything like that. I love chatting with you guys. And I chat with you every day. And I've genuinely forged in some quite cool relationships and friendships with some of you out there. And you guys, a lot of you, you have far more experience than I do. Um, so a lot of you, not to be rude, but you've got twice the life I've had. So you've some of you guys have had a dozen different breeds for their entire lifespans. And it's fascinating learning from you guys as well. But try and put yourself back in that situation where... Maybe you weren't privileged to have a dog growing up. Your parents didn't want one. You've just left home. You're in your early 20s. You're starting to settle down maybe. And you want to bring a dog into your home, but you want it to be a guard dog. Now, we're talking about what dog is the easiest to train. I'm personally, I'm a strong believer in why a lot of dogs get put down is because people choose the wrong breeds. They choose the wrong breeds for their lifestyle and their skill set. They bring them home. They aren't capable to manage. Um, they either get rid of them because they can't manage and they go to shelters or they push through it and they persevere but then really bad habits, really bad behaviours start to form. Uh, and when we're talking about big guarding breeds, if those bad behaviours include any kind of aggression, then we often see the dogs euthanised. So it's really important to me that first-time owners get a dog that is easy to train. So we're not talking about which dog has the best intelligence or trainability, but which is the easiest to train. And for me, I went with a giant schnauzer. So let's see how you guys judged it. We'll transition over to my screen. Uh, uh, which is easiest to train, poll results. And 93%, again, absolute landslide, 93% of you agreed that it was the Giant Schnauzer is the easiest of the two breeds to train with the Tosarino trailing right back in 6%. So that has been one of those contests, five from five. You guys have completely agreed with me, all five rounds. Obviously, that uh, natural guard dog round was close. I'm definitely going to go away and do a bit more research. If you one of those, if you've got a Giant Schnauzer, that'd be really interesting, actually, and you think that... I judge that wrong and you went with the giant schnauzer over the Tosarino. Um, again, please drop me an email. I'd genuinely be interested to hear from you. 
Um, especially if you're in England, or especially if you work yours and you live in England. I'd love to come out and spend some time with working giant schnauzers. It's not a breed I've ever... I've, I've met giant schnauzers, I've worked with some of them, but I've never worked with protection-trained giant schnauzers. So that would be fascinating, actually. Um, I'd love to delve a little bit deeper into that breed with their protection and guarding skills. So that'd be awesome. But I'm rambling a little bit here, guys. So thank you, as always, for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you click that like button, please. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a future episode of the canine show you can click top left to watch all the videos in this contest to determine the ultimate guard dog breed for first time owners or you can click bottom left for another one of my videos that i think you'll enjoy thank you again so much for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you tomorrow for another episode of the canine show